Small Rig and Falcam have made building a camera rig easier and smaller. No rods needed, both fit in a bag, and assembly is quick. In this video, we're going to compare the Small Rig V mount battery plate versus the Falcam's foldable cage and find out which one of these actually makes the perfect lightweight camera rig. So as we build our camera rig with these two, we're gonna compare the pros, cons, and talk about who I think these things are for. Stay tuned to the end because if you end up not liking them, I do have one more solution for you. By the way, Falcam did send me out their foldable cage to check out, but everything is still my own opinion and nursing is still paying my bills. Anyway, as someone who grew up with Legos, I find myself translating this experience to putting together camera rigs. But it's not just for looks. You see, by using a camera rig, my Sony FX30 actually gets longer battery life when I use a V-mount plate. And I can actually get a better visual of my image with an external monitor instead of just using the flip screen, which sometimes does seem a little small. Overall, building is a fun experience, but carrying the whole rig together can be a different story. The weight can easily add up in your hand, on your back, and it's tedious to just pack away. As a solo shooter, I can't always justify building bigger rigs when running and gunning. Can we just build a lighter rig and keep the overall form factor small, yet still be able to maximize the functionality of our cameras? It was then that one day I went out to assist one of my wedding cinematographer friends that I saw the small rig V-mount battery plate. He used two of these for his Blackmagic Pocket 6K cinema cameras with small rig cages attached. And it was exactly the form factor that I had wished I had for my own camera. So clearly, I grabbed one for myself. Only to find out that it didn't quite work with my setup. But more on that later. Let's break down this small rig V-mount plate, shall we? So we have a foldable V-mount battery plate where the other half has an Arca Swiss mounting plate. Arca Swiss is a common quick release system for your cameras so that you can put them on stabilizers like tripods and gimbals. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen it just like this to unfold, tighten it down to keep it from moving anywhere else. Then we have this long Arca Swiss plate to mount onto our camera. If you have a built-in Arca Swiss mount on your small rig cage, you may not even have to use this piece right here. So you can go ahead and just slide in your camera and maintain a smaller profile. But since I don't have one, I couldn't confirm with you. Going back to the opposite side, you can see that we have some holes here that are compatible with quarter inch 20 and 3 8 inch holes. If you wanna go ahead and mount this on a Manfrotto plate or something else for your stabilizers. I do find myself liking these latch clamps for locking our Arca Swiss plates, as well as having this ability to go ahead and extend our battery plate like so, all while prioritizing that lower profile and just tucking it away and away from the side and keeping it from clipping onto anything. So if we're gonna go ahead and bump into our rig, this won't catch anything. I originally bought this setup for a V-mount battery, but even without a V-mount battery, you can go ahead and use this adapter right here on the top. And you can go ahead and mount this onto some kind of Sony MPF battery holder or a battery bank holder. Those accessories, of course, are sold separately. Using this as a battery solution will be the way that we can keep our camera powered without frequent battery changes. But enough talking, let's go ahead and put this together. For my camera to fit onto this, I have to use a separate piece, which is this Falcam F38 plate. So we're gonna have this button pointing out forward, and we're just going to go ahead and align the threads, the screws, right like so. Tighten that. It doesn't fit the other way. These two holes don't align with my Falcom cage. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and slide this like so. Great. Now we can go ahead and slide this to the bottom right here. As long as you have this unlocked here, this lever. Slide it in, cool. We have pins to keep it from slipping out, which is nice. Now go ahead and lock it, okay? And now we just need our actual V-mount, press this on the side, and now just slap on our V-mount battery. Boom. Now all we need is just a cord just to connect from here to our USB-C port. I'm using the Sony FX30, and right now this thing does not support dummy batteries. It's just gonna give you an error message. So we will be connecting through USB-C. So right now this is pretty much the basic form factor. Of course we still have to add our cables, our top handle, side handle, lens, but 
this is pretty much what you're dealing with. And we're gonna go ahead and check our weight here and see how much we got. And right now it weighs four pounds, nine ounces. But I also like kilos, 2.09 kilos. Now, as clean as this setup appears, it's actually not. Let me show you where my issues lie, at least my camera issues. First is how I'm not able to use my Arca Swiss plate built in to my Falcom cage. I have to go ahead and use another plate from Falcam just to make it work. I mean, look at that space. Now usually when one starts buying different pieces and supports for their camera rig, he or she could buy into any brand and can still seamlessly use them all together. But clearly my Falcam and small rig V-mount plate got me like London trains and minding the gap. So to make these two work together, I have to use the Falcam's F38 quick release plate on top of the small rig plate. So even though I was able to make this work together by using this Falcam quick release plate, I don't like how much taller it is. And because it's much taller, this thing actually pushes into the release pin. And you know, it's not like I'm often like touching my screen like so, but just knowing that this is pressing against that like so, and it just creates that opportunity for this V-mount to be released, it just makes me feel just a little uncomfortable. If I had used a natural small rig cage, which I refuse to use because I like the versatility of this camera cage, perhaps this flip screen would be just below this release pin. So that's my second problem. A couple months later, Falcam came out with their foldable cage and I saw my camera rig issues start to disappear. This foldable cage is flexible. It's a half cage, selfie stick, and for me, a means to add a V-mount battery. As someone who cycles through different camera bodies to test it for photos and videos, the ability to use a single half cage for all my cameras in the future is just invaluable. This is especially true for camera setups that you often keep as a minimal point and shoot setup. Not every time that I wanna go out and get in a video mode, sometimes I just wanna go ahead and just snap photos. So by using the foldable cage, you can actually have a preset rig for video and just slide your camera in when you're ready. But just note that the half cage just fits on the left hand side, in case you prefer to have a side handle on the right hand side like I do. And I can easily use this for long recordings at church that justifies using a V-mount battery. But even if I'm not using my Sony FX30, I can use this with my Sony A6700 if I want. But this is how it's like to build a rig with this foldable cage. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this on the left hand side here, bring it down ever so slightly, take my camera, and because there's uh, a lock here, I can go ahead and slide it in like so, okay? And I can bring this back up, and it's flush right here. Tighten this down, loosen this back up over here, flip it around. Now, as you can see, I don't have a V-mount battery plate. So what I wound up doing was taking this Nitsi battery plate, V-mount battery plate specifically, with a Falcam dual lock system plate clamp here, and I just slide it right over top. Then I can just slide in my V-mount battery like so, and we're good to go. Just again, connect the cable, connect the side handle, top handle, and whatever else that you want to put on your camera rig. Okay, so compared to the small rig, this is how much it weighs. 2.1 kilograms, or four pounds and 10 ounces. So just a little bit heavier. Now, although the center of gravity is just kind of moved over now that I have this mounted towards the right more, it still feels okay to handle. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and add a top handle on top so that it helps with distributing the weight. And when I go ahead and bring this down and flip my screen out, bring this back up, it's not exactly flush with anything here, right? But at least I can go ahead and leave it as so if need be. And I can go ahead and not have to worry about releasing my V-mount battery at all because the release mechanism is towards the top. Now this is just how I use it, but let's also talk about some downsides to both of these systems in general. For the small rig V-mount plate, to get the most out of it, you will need a cage with the setup to keep your camera from loosening at the bottom. And you may need to specifically buy into small rig just to be able to use this because even though my Falcom cage has quarter inch holes, the Arca Swiss plate will not mount because they just don't align. And of course, the gap. 
The same goes for my Falcam foldable cage. You do need a Falcom cage to prevent it from absolutely loosening. See, this thing is not going anywhere. Although the individual Falcam camera plates do have anti-twist mechanisms, it doesn't mean that it won't like be misaligned if you bump into it. And even if you can get over all these hurdles with the Falcam foldable cage, you still don't have the V-mount battery plate that small rig already has. I mean, it's the entire centerpiece of this entire rig for me, the battery solution. So when it comes down to price, the Falcam foldable cage is roughly $87, but you can't do anything with it unless you have the other support pieces like top handle and side handle. Top handle is almost the same price as the foldable cage at $79, and it's $70 for the side handle. But even without those pieces, if you want a similar setup to the small rig, we really have to buy the F22 dual lock for $17 and the Nitsi V-mount battery plate for $29. So in total for the Falcam system, it's $148. But even if you don't wanna use any of these foldable cages, use this Nitsi V-mount battery plate and mount it to your top handle like so. No rods, fits in any bag when disassembled and assembly is still quick. The small rig V-mount plate with Arca Swiss is an excellent offering for videographers and filmmakers who just leave their camera in a cage. If you're just looking for the simplest way to get any battery, whether a V-mount battery or battery bank for your camera without any rails, this is it. However, on the opposite end, the Falcam foldable cage is excellent for hybrid shooters who don't often want to have a cage on their camera. Or if you switch through cameras often or rent other cameras often, you can easily save money by not investing in specific camera model cages and just use this with every single camera that you use and own. Just mount the included F38 Arca Swiss plate and you're set. But if you're like me and in the Falcam ecosystem and want to have a similar experience to small rig without losing compatibility, then using a Falcam cage with their foldable cage is a great combo. Just slide in everything else you need. If you're already locked into either of these ecosystems, you won't have to worry about switching. Just build and improve your rig where you already are. But just know that rigging options are becoming more available and more flexible. As for me, it's time to sell you and buy another Falcam foldable cage. If you're looking for more clarity on why I build my camera the way I do, I break down my rigging thought process over here.